Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to get started with Android Studio and create your first program called Hello World. It's fairly basic. It just has a little basic icon here and it has uh, my application and Hello World. That's all it is to it. But we're just going to show you how to get started. So all you got to do is launch up Android Studio. There's this icon. It'll come up something like this. You can just click Start a New Android Project. And you can name it. We'll call ours Hello World. Company domain is basically your company's name, .com. Then they'll automatically add the name of the app. So we could say my company or whatever. Uh, basically, like if you had a website, like if I was Facebook and I was making this, it would be facebook.com. That way the package name would be com.facebook.helloworld. So we're just going to go with my company, .hello world. Next, verifying that the project location is where we want it to be. And for here, we can select where we're going to build this, or what we're going to build it for, rather. So we can do a phone and tablet, Android Wear, which is mobile, like watches, TVs, uh, the car, or glass. But for now, we are only going to worry about phone and tablet. Here is the minimum SDK version. This is if all the versions of Android. Each version has new features, so if you want to target all the audience, you got to go down to Android 1 so that everybody who has Android 1 and up can use it. But if you target you know, a high one like Android 4.4, only maybe 30% of Android users have that, so only 30% of them can use it. But if you go too far down, then there's hardly any features to use. So the nice sweet spot is Android API 15 which is 4.0.3 ice cream sandwich. That is what I always use. And you'll see here it runs on 94% of devices, so pretty much everything there is. Here, because we now are using a full material design Android Studio, we have more options and they are all material. First we have blank activity, empty activity, and so on. For our tutorial, we are going to do empty activity. Blank activity will work. It just has this extra little button and a settings menu. But all we need is the empty activity. So we can click next and name the activity. It can be main activity or whatever. Make sure it starts with capital, there's no spaces, stuff like that. The layout name will just be like the layout of the file. So it'll say hello world and all that kind of information will be stored in that. This is just like what it does. Uh, so we'll click finish and we'll start building our project. As you can see here, I am getting a rendering error. So I'm going to go to File, and go to Invalidate Caches and Restart, and click that. Okay, so it's finally completed. And in order to get started, we need to go to our side panel here, where we see projects, like our main activity, which is under Java, and then your package name. Not the Android test, just the regular package name. And it'll come up stuff like this. This is just basic code that creates the activity. And then in your res, or resources folder, go down to Layout and Activity Main, and you'll find something like this. This is what your app will look like when it runs on a device or emulator. And basically, in order to get this Hello World text, all we need is this line right here. It's fairly simple. Um, if yours does not say Hello World and you want it to say Hello World, just go over here, grab a plain text view, and just throw it on anywhere you like. Double-click on it. You can just change the name. Or change the wording. Hello world. There you go. Click run. And now on our device we can see it just ran just fine. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and liked the video and learned a lot. If you need help setting up anything else, contact me in the comments. There's other videos on my channel that show you how to do anything else that you could possibly want to do. Call me. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.